23 ABC's Alicia Patillo is in South Bakersfield, where a man is suspected of breaking into a home and sexually assaulting two young girls. Alicia? It happened yesterday afternoon, and you can see behind me the homes on this street are pretty spread apart. And when I talked to residents today, they were lost for words. It's just sad. I mean, it's really sad that somebody would actually want to violate a child. Police were called out to this area on South Union Avenue around 1 in the afternoon after hearing reports of a break in. Well, that makes me scared and just, you know, I'm going to be vigilant, start looking, you know, around more. Once deputies arrived, they say they found 52 year old Antonio Gardea Sr. trying to run. Through the course of their investigation, uh, the deputies determined that uh, Gardea had entered the residence through an unlocked uh, either window or door. Investigators say while Gardea was in the home, he sexually assaulted two young girls. He ultimately ended up sexually assaulting uh, two female juveniles. Uh, when that was occurring, the mother came in and uh, Gardea fled the scene. Gardea was out on parole. He was just released from jail for trespassing and carrying a deadly weapon. It's concerning for Amanda James, who grew up in this neighborhood and now raises a family here. It's very sad to see that somebody would do that to children. And I have two small children. It makes me not feel very safe. Um, and there just seems to be more and more crime daily that's happening in this area. A resident who lives nearby says she's afraid for the safety of her family, and this incident is too close to home. Be out there looking, you know, around because there is guys out there that are looking for kids. There is. Antonio Gardea is behind bars tonight. His bail is over $1 million, and next week he's in court. Live in South Bakersfield, Alicia Patillo, 23 ABC.